What's up guys, Jay here. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about Moxie Engage and how you can create transaction task lists inside Moxie Engage for each of your clients. So when a client switches um, to a pending contract, all of your pending contract tasks will come up and be associated with that client. Or let's say you get a new listing and you have an active seller, all of your tasks for that listing are gonna populate very easily for you. They'll connect to your calendar and really keep you on track of what you need to do. So let's jump right in and see how we do that. If you've never been into Moxie Engage before, you're gonna log into Desk, and you can do that by going to login.coldwellbanker.com. Your username will be your first name, that last name at coldwellbanker.com. Put in your password, and that's gonna take you to the Desk home screen, which is gonna be a variety of different tiles that you can choose from that looks like this. They might not be in the order that mine are in. Your Moxie works might be down towards the bottom. You can just grab that tile and drag it around and you will go into MoxieWorks and you're gonna land on the MoxieWorks dashboard, which is your hub for all the different Moxie products. <clears throat> Moxie Present, Engage, Website, Impress, and Promote. So we're gonna go into Engage. And this is your dashboard that you always land in. So to get to the transaction task list, to create those, you're gonna go into the top right and you're gonna to go to the gear icon and you're gonna to go to engage settings. Then, it's slowly populating here, then you're gonna go over here to the left under people, you have leads and then task manager. And this is where you will edit your tasks. So this, what we're gonna be doing today is a, a one-time thing for each of your various task lists. So you can see here for the buyer plan, I've already added in 37 tasks for that. Today we're gonna to work on the seller plan. So you go over here to the right and you click on customize. And you have three different types of seller plans that you can create. Prospect tasks, so when you are prospecting, trying to get um, someone to help, to allow you to list their home, that's gonna kind of fit into the prospecting tasks. And then we have active tasks. So that's, we have an active listing and the steps that we need to do once we have that listing. And then you have your pending tasks, which are gonna be once that listing goes under contract. Today, we're gonna to work on the active tasks. So you're gonna click on that. And you can see it is telling you the timeline. This is gonna be triggered when you, the seller is moved to the active zone is, is exactly what happens there. So, the first step you want to do is have your list of tasks, whatever those tasks are. We do have a couple lists, um, an elite scoop under documents and then checklists. There is a seller um, pre-listing list and a seller post-listing list. So we're going to go in here. This is the list from uh, elite scoop. So all you have to do is you're, it's going to take a little bit of time to go through. We're going to do a few of them here. You're just going to highlight, copy the tasks, click back over to Moxie add task we're going to go to new task paste that in you can put in more information in the description if you wanted to when is this going to be due so we're going to create the room in dtr we want this to be due immediately once we set this up because that's one of the first things you need to do we're going to add that in and now we have one task on day one so we're going to go back into here go to our next task upload listing docs to dtr copy that Go back into here, new task, paste. Um, we're gonna say, let's see, this needs to be done within 48 hours. So we're going to put in two days for that. And um, let's see here, let's go back and go to one more task. Add seller to the DTR room. So we're gonna go here, new. We'll have this one on day one also when we create the room. And you can choose the dates, whatever works for you, but you do need to have a date on there because it'll populate out based on when you switch that seller into active, all those dates will populate and then they will become um, on your calendar and they'll be associated with that client. So simply, this is all you have to do. You just have to go through and just keep copying and pasting, adding them in, um, putting the date in there of when those are due. And, and that's it. So I'm gonna do one more here so you guys have an idea and I'll show you how this gets activated. So we'll go in here, create one last one. Say day three. So now we can see we have five tasks that we've created for this um, active zone for sellers. 
So I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna make sure you go up here to the top and save. And now we have that set in here. You can see our seller plan has five tasks. So if we go and find a person, let's see if I can find a client here. Let's see if we can switch them. What are they categorized as? Profile. Let's see if we can find a seller. Give me a second here. So we're going to switch this client to a seller. So we're going to say done. And once we, so right now they're considered a prospect. And once we move them to the active zone, all of those tasks will populate that we just created. So we want to confirm that you can't go back to that zone there. So now for this client, we have all of these tasks due tomorrow. Add the seller to the DTR room, create the room in DTR. And then on the seventh, we have uploading listing docs to DTR. And you'll find those in various places. Hopefully it'll populate this quickly here. Um, but let's go ahead and go down to transaction tasks. And you see here, we now have a new task for our seller, Adam. And we can just check those tasks off as we're going through, just like that. So that's how you create tasks. You can do that for it. Let me go back in there to show you again all the different areas that you can create tasks in. You can do a lead marketing plan, so you get a new lead. What are the steps that you need to do? Uh, we've talked about how you need to call that client multiple times. You need to email them. You need to text message them, so you can have a task for each one of those things um, under the lead marketing plan. You can have a marketing plan in general, so you can customize all of those. You just jump in here, and then you can add those tasks in. And then you have your buyer prospect active and under contract and your seller prospect active and under contract i hope this guys helps you i hope this helps you guys out it's really going to help keep you organized once you get all your clients in there let me know if you have any questions at all as you're going through this and i'll see you guys next time